السلام علیکم گائز ویلکم بیک ٹو سیول انجینئرز یوٹیوب چینل گائز یو کین سی پریکٹیکلی دس از دا سپین بٹوین ٹو کالم 30 بائی 20 فیٹ گائز یو کین سی ایٹ دا مڈل وی ڈونٹ ہیو آر سی سی کالم سو ہاؤ ٹو کنسٹرکٹ ایٹ اسٹیل رین فورسمنٹ سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹ گائز ایز یو کین سی گائز دس از فلور بیم اسٹیل رین فورسمنٹ ڈیزائن ڈیپ از 16 انچز ویڈ از 12 inches guys you can see this is the end of the beam this is the other column span between these two column is 30 feet here we don't have any rcc column guys you can see at the middle which span is 15 feet guys you can see at steel reinforcement clearly on the top of this junction we will provide extra steel rods because we have maximum bending moment at this place depth of the beam is 16 inches width is 12 inches three steel rods at the bottom three at the top dia is 16 mm also they did some common mistakes in the construction of this floor beam guys you can see they provided singly mesh for this slab spacing is 8 by 8 inches on the top of this they will provide the double mesh then the spacing of main bars distribution bars will be 4 by 4 inches now let me guide you how to provide extra steel rods to the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we will provide extra steel rods as you can see here guys we have two extra steel rods to the distance of l by 4 where length is between two column span is between two column which is 30 uh, 30 feet so to the distance of l by 4 we have extra steel rods as you can see here for this column two extra steel rods we have guys if you see to the distance of l by 4 and also this is not completed so on the top of this they will provide more extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment guys you can see clearly this is end of the support end of this beam they did not provide any dual pin length so dual pin length is also very important to make a good bond between steel and concrete if you see guys the spacing of the strip is not okay for this uh, commercial building which is about 11 to 12 inches at the middle and 7 to 8 inches to the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment so therefore this is not the proper steel reinforcement details guys you can see stirrups are bent on 90 degree so this is also one of the big mistakes guys you can see this is cantilever beam and here they provided some extra steel rods but the proper design should be done here for this cantilever beam which length is 6 feet guys we have three steel rods at the bottom three at the top same like simply supported beam stirrups guys you can see they did not provide any development length also so also this is very important dia is 16 mm stirrup dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 6 to 7 inches hooks are bent on 90 degrees so it should be provided the correct way it should be provided are bent with 135 degree two steel rods they provided extra which dia is 12 mm to the distance of 4 4 by 4 feet from the center guys you can see here stirrup spacing is here about 6 to 7 inches at the middle it is about 9 to 10 inches sometime 11 inches so this is not better design guys you can see here they provided a smaller beam here which width is very small this is staircase portion you can see guys main bars distribution bars here they provided the laping length so this is one of the big mistakes in the construction of this slab because for providing laping length we have the uh, correct place where you can provide the laping at that place but it doesn't mean if you need the laping length so you can provide anywhere so this is not good for construction of slab beam and column so therefore i'm telling you in many videos that laping should be provided after l by 4 distance or to the distance of l by 5 you can provide 
at the bottom but at the top of the beam or in the slab it should be provided uh, in the beam especially floor beam it should be provided in the middle but lab should not be provided in the slab at the middle instead of l by 5 distance not l by 4 distance where we have negative bending moment guys you can see they provided extra steel rods on this junction where we don't have rcc column so for this we should have the proper design so we should follow the struct uh, steel structural drawing proper side supervisor to guide you for steel reinforcement guys you can see here this is also cantilevered beam depth is 16 inches width is 12 inches with concrete cover spacing of stirrups everything you can see this is not better so they should do the correct design for this if you see the shuttering shutting is also not good so everything is wrong on this construction site under this steel reinforcement they will provide the concrete blocks which uh, our depth should not be less than one inches so from one to uh, from 25 to 40 mm you are able to provide but it's depend on the depth of our thickness of the slab hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye